morning crafters <laughs> welcome to hunky dory tv and thank craft it's friday yay <laughs> my name is daniel newhouse and i will be your host for this action-packed and craft filled show today um and there is nobody as action-packed or love cra loves craft quite as much as our guest today at the demonstration <laughs> station rumor has it that she has sold her house and bought a farmyard just so that she can craft until the cows come home. <gasps> Would you believe it? 
<laughs> I'm not sure you would. Um, she turned up this morning with hay in her hair and a smile on her face. <laughs> what she's been doing, we have not asked, we don't. Um, let me introduce to you the wonder that is Sheila Halliwell. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hey, my hair. Well, okay, it's just. It's I've been in the over, you know, on the farm overnight. Go with it, <laughs> Sheila. You're making me look silly now. You're making me look like I make things up. No, making me sound like I'm dirty. <laughs> Coming in with my wellies on him on the tractor. It's not dirty. It's fruity. They're completely different, <laughs> Sheila. Uh, hello, anyway. <laughs> 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 Morning everyone, sorry about this, we've been having quite a jokey time um, before the show. Uh, we hope you are well and thank you so much for joining us. Did you watch Natalie at 9am this morning? Um, wasn't she brilliant? She was having a lot of fun. Yeah. So Natalie was on Creating Craft this morning, Creating Craft TV, uh, beaming into your, uh, into your lounges all over the world, all over the country. Um, and she was showing you the new Stitch It Moonstone dyes, which were fabulous and are selling really, really well. I think over half the stock's gone now. Yeah, I was like going to say it was about 40% at 9 o'clockish. 50. It's 50 They've been all asking us for more stock, but we simply can't give you more stock because we've got to keep it in our back pocket. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. other people might want it, and that's a very nice. I'm a teapot now. This is, <laughs> this is good, isn't it? Oh, the things we do. Um, okay, what's going on today? Um, it's our Thank Craft It's Friday show. We've got loads going on. It's action packed, as we said. We, we're spinning the wheel. In fact, have we got a show plan? Yeah. Oh, let's show it. Let's show it. On today's show. I love that. On today's show, it is the finale. What a lovely mm. word. Yeah. The final, the finale of our 80,000 Facebook likes promotion, which has been uber popular, uh, super popular. We have some new 80 percent off, up to 80 percent off products that I can show you today. Uh, Sheila is going to be demonstrating, yes. I do believe. Yes. A um, little bit of Transylvania in there for you. Um, <laughs> Win It Weekly winners. We're going to be announcing our Win It Weekly winners. Um, in fact, you can still be in it to win it. I'll show you in a second Ooh. what that is. We're going to be spinning the wheel and then we're going to tell you about what's coming up next week. Very, very, very exciting. Okay. Start at the top. 80,000 Facebook likes. What is it? Guys, we have reached a milestone. We've hit 80,000 Facebook likes and we are humbled. Uh, and uh, very, very thankful to all the people who engage with us on Facebook and throughout other social media, YouTube and so on. Um, but what we've done is we've put together a promotion where we have taken 80 products and we have taken up to 80% off the prices of those products, put them into a category on our website. There's a big banner at the top of the website. You can find it very, very easily. Um, I can tell you 34 of those 80 products have now sold out and gone never to return. Gosh. That's amazing. So that's nearly half of those products have already gone. That's not half the stock, that's half the actual products themselves. Yeah. Gone. Amazing. Um, okay. Uh, first product that we should tell you about really is our pick of the week. Is that right, Ashley? Uh, Ash no. Wrong person. Emily? <laughs> not anymore. Are you not playing anymore? No. <laughs> Sorry, Joanne. She, she's got a um, on already. <laughs> the first one we should tell you about is this. It's our Artist Garden Topper Collection. Okay, so this was the top of our show uh, when we launched this on Monday. And um, Sheila, you love this collection, don't you? Yes, I do. Um, I remember doing this on um, Crate and Craft, actually. I just love the, um, the lovely sketchy artwork in this. And I love the way it's been left... Um, almost as it was done with pencil drawings and then we've just added some extra colour around the edge um, but the great thing is you can colour this, this in as well if you want to or you can just leave it as it is. It's lovely it's isn't it? Very okay. pretty. Um, guys you get bucket loads in here, There is it's upside down of course because uh, that's how we roll. Um, <laughs> there's there's foil toppers, die cut toppers, there are, there's foil cardstock, there's printed cardstock, it's all on the adorable scoreboard, it's all on matte tastic. Yeah. Uh, it was 11, uh, 1999, 1999, now it's 11.99 but guys I know, I looked just before we walked in, 91% because we like accuracy here, 91% yeah. of this stock has gone. 9% really? of the stock remains, yeah, so this won't see the day out. No, it probably will not, not. see the day out. Guys, um, thank you if you've picked up your pick of the week. Congratulations if you've picked up your pick of the week. You're going to love this when you get it home. It's phenomenal. I'm sure there are people who bought it when it first launched back in March, February. Yes, something like that, yeah. Who are buying that again. I'd be very yeah. surprised if there weren't. Uh, okay, so... Uh, what have we done? Because we have we have sold out of 34 of these products, we've decided to bring you more products um, that we are showing 
today at up to 80% off. Guess how many? Emily, tell us. Eight. Eight. <laughs> eight new products, eight new lines at 80% off. Um, shall we get started? Yeah. It's very, very exciting. Um, I'm gonna, oh, I'm just gonna go. I know I'm going off piece, this is terrible. I'm just gonna show you first, birthday best. Okay, this is another one of those that is selling out really, really fast, right? There's about 30% of this stock left, guys, yeah? Take a quick look, it's beautiful. We didn't get a chance to show you this on Monday, but we really wanted to. Um, Sheila, you'd not seen this before, had you? No, I hadn't seen it till this morning. I said, what is that? Um, it caught your eye. It did catch my eye. Um, again, beautiful artwork in here. Lovely yes. toppers, um, lovely cardstock, all die cut and foiled as usual. And just it just got some really nice sentiments on. I think it's um, really nice for the kind of younger um, people in our lives. So if you sell it, you know, sending this would be perfect for birthday for um, anyone who's, I know we've not got school proms on at the moment, but just looking at that, it's very kind of teenage and oh. very, um, I don't know, look a bit hippie, a bit, bit bohemian. It's really nice. I like all the words you've said, especially the word hippie. Do you know, my mum was a hippie. She um, was, yeah. Yes, I'm going to tell pictures. everyone uh, if, she's, if she's watching. She used to walk around, this is true, she used to walk around the streets when she was at, at, at um, uni with no shoes on at all. Yes. Because it was cool to do that and people did that. Yeah, people, people walk people around do with that. no. Yeah? Yeah, it's. Um, it could be freezing. Yeah, it could be a bit harsh in winter, but. Yeah. yeah. And she also she showed me some of the skirt pictures of the skirts that she used to wear. And this is not the sort of thing you should show your son. They were up here somewhere. They, they weren't really skirts, they, they were, they were, they were, they were just tops, really, and belts, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> shall we, shall we, do you want to do Win It Weekly? Yeah. Because I've missed it, sorry. <laughs> um, guys, win it weekly. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of eight, there's a, there's a theme to this, isn't there, Sheila? So there's eight, a theme, 80. yes. If you want to be in with a chance of winning one of eight of these, uh, Emily has packed this away. So this has been out as a pack shot for a lot of the week, hasn't it? But yes. she's packed this away now. Um, it's ready to go with the lovely hunky dory tape because we are actually going to send these out today. <gasps> I love that. To so eight people to as eight well. People, eight oh people my are word. going to get. I don't know if I can show you some of this. If we can pick the. Woo! Oh. Okay. Because as we said, you guys are the sunshine in our life. Uh, we've put the sunflowers full bundle in there. You've got prism ink pads. You've got um, the hydrangea, um, little book of hydrangeas. You've got, there's a punch in there, inverted corner, I think. Yeah. Uh, low tack tape stack. Um, there's a gemstone roll. 80 squids worth of <gasps> goodies. Construction glue's in there as Construction well. Construction yeah. glue, mate. 80 quid's worth of goodies, there's going, to goodies, there's going to be eight winners. Here's how you can be in it to win it, because there's still a chance. There's still a chance it could be you. Uh, we want to know, like, share and comment on this video. We hit the amazing milestone of 80,000 Facebook likes uh, just this last week. But what milestone did the Facebook page hit in 2018? Was it A, Sheila? Mm. 20,000. Was it B, Sheila? Mm. 40,000. Or was it C, <laughs> Sheila? Mm. <laughs> she gave nothing away. Every, no, you've got to work for this prize. <laughs> Every mm, was exactly the same. Um, you know, we mentioned the farmyard earlier on today. Did, it, <laughs> and did that sound like she was a moo cow? <laughs> it, I think maybe the cows have actually come, come home. home. The they cows have, finally come yeah. home. Is that what's happened? I don't know. Do you want to be in with a chance of winning, guys? All you have to do is comment. Just comment. Tell us the answer. You've got to get that answer right. Um, I'm going to give a clue. It's not A. How's that? Oh, Am I allowed to do that, Emily? Or have I, have I just gone against... I've flown in the face of convention. I don't know. You've, you've, you've already upset me today. I've upset you already <laughs> today by calling you... Before we went live, I called her Natalie. And then when we're live, I call her Ashley. What is going on? Um, okay, right. Are you ready for um, what is the PS de resistance or the, um, the absolute... The, the killer product. Okay, that sounds bad, doesn't it? Killer product. The kill, killer product. And do not take this home. Um, the, no, do. No, do. Uh, it's like Jaws music plays when you open it. Um, <laughs> this is an absolute awesome product at an, a crazy price. Um, okay, are you ready? It's our Acorn Wood Luxury Card Collection. Uh, it's beautiful. It's eight topper sets. It's got um, full topper sets in here. But not only that, you're going to get these gorgeous concept cards that I will show you in a minute. Um, $24.99 it was. It's not £11.99. Inspiration card, as always, um, I know people love those. What's really nice on the inspiration card this time, it gives you the instructions for making woodland concept cards, right? 
I know the website's busy, guys. We we sent our email just before we went live, and before we came in, there are hundreds upon hundreds of people on the website, and um, so if you can't get on there, it will put you into a bit of a holding loop, and you know it'll only take a minute or two. Um, if it's ever so slightly slower than usual, we do apologise, but this is why it's yeah. eleven pounds ninety nine, um, and this is what's going absolutely crazy on the website. Okay, let's take a look. It's the gorgeous acorn wood artwork with the beautiful badger in there. You've got the rabbit. You've got the whole team. Um, beautiful, stunning artwork. And they're going off on their day trip um, in their balloon, which is beautiful. Um, let me get to the next one. There we go. And they're in their little boat, the hedgehog there in charge at the front. Isn't it cute? This is all foiled and die cut, foiled with this gorgeous gold foil. Um, so it's a lovely golden foil, which really suits the artwork, I think, doesn't it? Beautiful, yeah. Um, accent foiled as well, so you've got the, the fox here, and he's, he's actually got accent foiling of gold on his um, uh, on his tail there. Very, very pretty. He's playing the drums. Like foxes do. Like foxes do. They Absolutely. do play. Foxes play the drums. Foxes play the drums. And yeah, um, what do hedgehogs play? Hedgehogs play the trumpet, I think. Hedgehogs play the trumpet. Um, we've got, the, they're in the garden there. Isn't this beautiful? So you get two each of every sheet that I'm showing you. Okay, um, which is lovely. One, two. Oh, you do you get two each of every sheet? You yes, can. you do. Um, but not only that, look at this. More cardstock. Isn't it beautiful? It's too nice to use. You Isn't know, that it lovely? really is. Beautiful. I've got more to show you. This is still in this same kit. Okay. Envelopes. Very kind. Um, look at these beautiful. You've got all the individual characters, but they're all individually die cut so that you can pop them out and place them onto your cards or indeed into your cards, because I'm going to show you what you can do with these in a second. Um, Double-sided, okay, concept cards, right? I could show you these, but actually what you really want to see is these, okay? So this is one of your double-sided concept cards. Here we go. You open it up, and it has that lovely double aperture looking in on a scene that opens up and pops up, because it's all in different layers in there, if you can see. Isn't that fabulous? It's divine. Isn't it divine? Yeah. Okay, so we've got this one, um, You're the Best. We've got Hip Hip Hooray here with the squirrel on. All of this comes in here for eleven ninety nine, including the instructions. Okay, should be twenty four ninety nine. It's not, it's eleven ninety nine. is Isn't that brilliant? There are actually four of those. I've only got three of those to show you. But I've also got some cards to show you here as well that have been made with that kit. <laughs> Look at this. How beautiful. Isn't it lovely? It's gorgeous. I'm not really into cute, um, cutesy quite so much, but this kit is just, I love it. When I was flicking through all the pages again this morning, I was thinking there's so much you can do with this. Um, so many different ways of using it. I think because you've got all those little um, die cut elements as well, all those characters, you know, you can really make, you can make some lovely baby cards, you can make some lovely baby frames. And you can, and you get extras of those as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely, you know. there's loads of them. So I'll show you this. There is there is a, a, a little thing for a nursery coming up in a second that's really, really pretty. So the whole team's been on this. So um, uh, Jane's and I, Amanda Evans made this one here. Look Aww. at that for hanging on a nursery door. Emma Cresswell rocks. Mm. So cute. Uh, it's the date on here, it says the 12th of the 2nd, 2020. So that is when this launched. Yes. In March. But isn't that beautiful? What a lovely, lovely thing to have hanging from the nursery. And th which means that you, it shows this is paper crafting. It's not just card making. No. It's paper crafting. Yeah. Um, do you like that, guys? Let me know. Tell us, um, and thank you for joining us, tell us what you think. Uh, and let me show you very quickly some inserts that you can get as well. Can you see the price on screen, Sheila? Yes. I, I cannot believe that. I, th I was thinking, what? 60p? Isn't it? Now, you probably can't see these because uh, because they are um, they're sort of a watermark effect. But these help to finish your cards beautifully. I don't know why I took the one from the back there. I should be taking the one from the front. That helps. Um, here, here's another one that you can't see. Right? <laughs> just remove, removing, removing them from the back. There we go. No, you can't see that one. Now, that one's a secret and that one. Uh, we'll just show you that one and the back of it, which is also white. Um, 60 pence for 12 inserts. That's absolutely brilliant. I think the pricing today is incredible. Uh, shall we pop across to the demonstration station to see Sheila taking the hay out of her hair, uh, <laughs> making her moo sounds, and, uh, and see what demonstration she can come up with? <laughs> Thank you. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> I'm a 
sleigh. Daisy? <laughs> Daisy? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> right, what we're going to do, um, obviously this was launched earlier in the year, so I don't think I got a lot of um, chance to work with this kit originally. It was um, something that I know Natalie, I think Natalie launched it on um, Create and Craft. So I was working on something else at the time. So I didn't really get the opportunity to work with it. And you know, I've gone through the kit this morning um, and there's just too much in here for me to absorb. It's one of those kits um, that just takes my breath away because it's so pretty it's so mm. lovely so i'm i could have you know made 20 things this morning with this all very different and i could have really gone overboard but i'm not i'm going to keep it quite um simple because we mustn't forget that a lot of people that watch us are beginners and they might not have had a kit like this before but because on these great prices might have thought you know what i'm going to kind of get myself one of these kits and have a go so i've taken a nice big eight by eight card covered it in a gold mirror mat and then I've chopped down one of the A4 sheets because this is absolutely beautiful. So we've got the, the tree here, we've got squirrel and the owl and the bird, presents, butterflies, and then this beautiful bunting. So what you'll find in your kit, if you've not had one of our kits before, is that you have toppers that match each of the card stocks. Um, so what I'm going to do, I uh, here's the sheet that actually matches. Now look at all these toppers on here. There's loads on here. The sentiments as well. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like toppers that you can see. But don't forget, this topper here has actually got two frames around it. So that's fourteen elements on this sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the beautiful um, animals here as well that are cut out. To so cute aren't they it's such a lovely, lovely lovely kit i love it so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to take and i think i'm going to go with the topper here because this has got the rabbit on the floor with the birthday cake so we're going to pop that out everything is die cut so it's really really easy to use and we're going to pop this onto the card and then we're going to add some little embellishments from the um the element sheet because we've got trees on here we've got flowers we've got cake we've got all kinds of things so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to put a couple of um foam pads we'll, we'll probably put three on here actually three of our big square pads and uh, we're we definitely doing that actually you know we talked about um foam pads and doing a bigger foam pads multi-pack okay. where it's a multi you know we do the foam bond the, yes. uh, the bundle we're going to do one with just larger pads in it really yeah, oh that would be brilliant they're using them uh, the, the large ones a lot yeah definitely i think for things like decollage in particular you know it can be you can make it really quick um to put together just by using the bigger pads whereas then if you want to do something smaller like we've got on these sheets you can do something um with the smaller pads so it's really really uh, good so we've got the bunting here so what we're going to do is pop out the bunting and we're going to put this on the top of the card now this is one where you could actually glue it down or you could do um do it with pads so i'm going to glue my first one down and then I'm going to do the second one to kind of cross it um, with pads. So let's just dot some glue onto here. And I'm using a construction glue because it's my favourite. <laughs> Sheila. Yes. We have, I think it, it could be comment of the day already. I don't know. Caroline Blair Garrett says, hedgehogs play the prickolo. <laughs> That's Beautiful. Very funny. Love it. Well done. That's very funny. Well done. It's very good. The Prickolo. The Prickolo. Oh, come on. There must be some other things there that people can can think of that would go with these the animals. animals. Absolutely. Yeah. There must be. Um, please, you know, have a think and send us some funny, funny ones in. Um, there's got to be some, hasn't there? Very good, that. It is good. Now, what would the squirrel play? What would the squirrel play? Oh, now then, there's a challenge. got an owl on here as well we've got a rabbit or a hare squirrel a uh, bird what else have we got we've got the hedgehog so we've done the hedgehog don't know what the squirrel will play they'll give honest. us some good ones i'm sure i'm sure they'll be they'll all be thinking now come on think of some good ideas um right so i'm doing an individual um pad on each alternate flag and i'm putting them on here before i actually pop it out of the sheet 
So let's pop it out of the sheet now. And you can do that with these. Um, sometimes, you know, it's good to, if you don't want to actually put a card together or you want to do some crafting, but you're watching TV, like Natalie said on Creating Craft this morning, you've got your blanket over your legs, you've got hot chocolate next to you, but you want to do a bit of crafting, but not necessarily put a card together. Doing stuff like this is great. Putting your pads on the back of things and keeping them in the sheet. Yeah, because it's a then, good idea. Um, you, when it comes to doing it, you just need to pop them out of the sheet. Really, really simple. So what we're going to do, we've got our little bunting here. So we're going to hang this from here across to the tree here. So it, it's actually making, it's pulling this scene in and making it like a bigger scene now rather than it being two separate, separate panels. Okay, so now we've got that on there. What we're going to do now is take some of the flowers. Now on these sheets, we have some kind of foliage. This one has actually got bluebells on. It's really, really pretty. And now it's very, very detailed. So I'm going to pop this out quite gently, just so that we know um, all those little flowers come out. There we go. So we've got that one. If I bring my other sheet in here. <laughs> it's amazing. Right, go on. Sheila Bear. Are you ready? Yeah. La Lorna Owens. Yeah. 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 The squirrel would play a cornet. Oh my goodness! The clarinet. Oh, I've not, oh, oh my seen goodness. the clarinet. The squirrel would play a cornet. Oh my Isn't goodness! That good? That's brilliant. You guys are brilliant. Is it clarinet as well? <laughs> yeah, clarinet. That's very good. Come on, bring this. Any Tell more some you've more. got, guys? Absolutely. I love we it. need some more. We need some more. Oh, thank Craft sure. It's Friday. Absolutely. <laughs> So we've got a sunflower here now, which we're going to pop on as well. Um, and this is lovely. I just want to pop that little panel out there. There we go. And then we can put a little pad on the back. In fact, I've got a pad there. That would be perfect. And we put a little one on the leaves. So again, this will stand out a little bit. I'm going to cut these down. These um, foam strips as well, by the way, are perfect for cutting up into different lengths, especially if you've got um, leaves and things that might be a little longer and require something, um, you know, a longer pad rather than a tiny square one, like we, we do the tiny square ones as well, but this is lovely. I've got new nails on this morning, so I'm struggling a bit to get all my little Lovely bits nails, Sheila. So, let's go mad, let's get some new ones on. Okay, so now we're, we're layering up here so you can see that gradually we're building up our little scene. So now we're gonna take one of the, I'm gonna take the wellies actually, the wellies with the little mouse poking out the top. We're going to have the wellies at the bottom. We're also going to have, I think, let's have the wheelbarrow on here. And this is the beautiful thing about this kit. There's loads of these elements that you can um, use and still have enough to use on the concept card as well. Um, so I need to go over to this pad again now because what I want to do with this, put this on a double layer. What would the elephant play, Sheila? Oh. That would be the trumpet, of course. Jenny <laughs> Holdsworth, well done. <laughs> Go on, give trumpet. us your elephant sound, Sheila. Have you got one? Woo! <laughs> 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 we did ask. She's good. You yes. have to do the arm with it, though. I don't know why, but whenever you do it, well, I usually sound. do, but my arms yeah, were always yeah. engaged. You, elephant sound, you always do that. <laughs> Yeah, you I mean, do that? yeah, that sounded like a horse. It was a really, it was a, it was a poorly a horse, wasn't it? A horsefant, that was, that was terrible. Horsefant. Listen, I was a nursery nurse for the best part of 20 years, so I used to have to do all that stuff, you know. I used Were to have you to, really? yeah, 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 I was. How yeah, is so, it that you don't know things about people? So, 20 years, it was really? almost 20 years, probably about 18 years, because I studied nursery nursing at college, did you? I uh, got my N and EB, and then I was a nanny for five years. Um, to two boys, um, like every day, and then really? yeah. So I didn't live in because it was it was still in Wigan. So I could I learnt to drive, and then I could drive there. Um, so yeah, I looked after those two boys till they were both at school. Oh, um, right. And they yeah. So now they're they're in the thirties now. Wow. And then I got a job in a nursery. In actually, now this how funny is this? I actually got my next job was as a nursery nurse in Preston, yes. right, believe it or not, and do you know when, um, you know, Union Street? Yes, I Friar do. Gate? Yes. So, um, there used to be a carpet 
place there, and the and the car park was like quite high up. Okay. And then down, I think is Union Street one of the little side streets. Yes. Yeah. So there was a big building there, a tall building. I think it's still there, and there was a nursery there that was three floors. All oh, right. So we had babies, then we had toddlers, and then we had preschool and the yes, child. Yes. And I worked in there for two years from. 1991 uh, to 1993. Oh, we went here there because I was no. going to say you nearly made your way here earlier, Sheila. Yes, but, we but there was a wool here, shop yes. down on Frygate, I think, and I used to go there in my lunch hour and buy lots and lots of wool. Did you really? Yeah, I did, yeah. Sheila, so there you go. There was a wool Isn't... shop on Friday. Yes, there was. I remember buying. And that was ours? Um, some. No. Yeah. No. no. Really? <laughs> Please, honestly. You know that, don't you? No, I didn't. I knew you had a sh uh, shoppy, but I didn't realise that was your shop. Oh, surely, yeah, that was our shop. Yes. Oh, the, my. The crafts, it was called. So my mum will have served you, or my dad. Oh, my goodness. I used to go in there all the time and buy wool. I remember, really? yeah, I remember buying some bright red mohair. Yes. And I knit my boyfriend at the time, who was quite a bit older than me, because I was 17, he was a bit older. I made him a jumper. This was like, so this was early 90s, late 80s when mohair was in. Yes. So yeah, I knitted him a jumper and it was made in red mohair. How cool. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. it was a good shop that. They had all the it, good stuff. They had oh, Vega it was an amazing, all, all the good it stuff. was an amazing shop. Chenille I like. Oh, oh Chenille yes. lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Right, so we're going to get a greeting on here now because otherwise I'm going to fill this card with all these beautiful little elements. There's going to be none left for the concert card, is there? I hope you don't mind us reminiscing, guys. I've just, I've just realised that Sheila and, Sheila and I have had a lot of, you know, oh, wasn't it lovely back in wasn't the day? Wasn't it lovely back in the day? Absolutely. But look at this. It's, it's, it's absolute carnage on here now, but I love this. Anybody that knows um, me and my crafting, I love to fill. Somebody gives me a card blank, then fill it. That's what I've always done, and that's probably what I'll always do. I hate it when they say, keep it simple, Sheila, keep it simple. I'm like, I can't, I can't. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely. You know, pile some of your stuff on here. Use these elements to your best. See, I'm, I'm struggling now because I want to put some more on, but I think I need to stop because Sheila, otherwise... it's step away from the toppers. Step away from the toppers, Sheila. But, yeah, look, you can just have an absolute whale of a time building up a scene using you know um all the elements the little ones the big ones all the animals you know we, you can create some crazy things with this so uh, get this why it's at this price it's an amazing price it is. Um, whether it will last the weekend or not i do not know uh, guys all of these eighty thousand facebook likes uh, products that are up to 80 percent off will all go back up, whatever's left, like we said we'd already lost 34, we'll have lost more while we're on air, I'm sure, yeah. um, will go back up in price to their normal price, whatever's left, on Monday morning. Um, I think you do get, it's meant to be Sunday night at midnight, but I, I think I think it's like when, when Hannah gets up on, 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 on Monday and, to, and changes, yeah. and changes yeah. the prices. Yeah. So you can, you can get away with it on Monday morning in the early hours of the morning as well, I should imagine. But anyway, okay. Um, let's have a quick look again at that Win It Weekly question. Is that all right? Um, just because I'm aware that we're going to call the winners for this uh, for this Win It Weekly, which has got eight, there are eight winners of 80 quid's worth of goodies. Um, we're going to call them in about 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, okay, and if you want to be in it, with in with a chance of winning, there is still a chance. It's about another 10 minutes or so, we're going to stop and we're going to say, right, no more um, entries. Mm. Okay, so like, share and comment. We hit the amazing milestone of, of 80,000 Facebook likes this last week, but what milestone did the Facebook page hit in 2018? Was it A, 20,000, B, 40,000 or C, 60,000? I've already told you it's a larger number, not a smaller number. Okay, so um, you've got to get it right. Isn't that correct, Emily? Yeah. They have to get it right. Um, you have to comment. You can comment anything you like. Okay. Um, Something that I want to tell you about, and I, we probably should do this later on, um, but I'm going to tell you now. The Club Gift, uh, which is the Miracle of Christmas, I don't have one to hand, but the Club Gift, which is a Miracle of Christmas, there are only about a hundred left. Ooh. Okay. A hundred sounds like quite a big number. Trust me, it isn't. Um, there are many, 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 many thousands that we manufacture of the Club Gift. There are only about a hundred club gifts left and there's about a hundred of the bundle. Now that club gift will go in the next couple of days, I'm sure. Um, and we're not due a club gift, another club gift for another couple of weeks uh, at least. Okay, so I do know the date and I do know what it's going to be. Um, it's nearly as cute as Sheila. Uh, <laughs> not quite, uh, but very cute. Um, okay, so if you want that miracle of Christmas, if you it's haven't... Is it in here somewhere? Yeah. It's probably hiding. It's down, it's down here, is it? Oh, no. um, 
Okay, oh. I'll, I'll see if I can get it. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see if I can get it to show it later. Okay, but uh, it's no, it's a nine pound ninety nine product, and it's a club members free gift. You get it free. Uh, you just pay postage of two ninety nine. So um, yeah. yeah, if you want to get that, it's sort of the last chance thing. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. Next product um, of our eight that new products that we have added to our deal today is the marvelous midi pad stunning stripes. Um, Sheila. Yes. We like stripes, don't look we at that. We like stripes. We were just we've just been talking about mirror this morning, haven't we? And um, we have because we've been we, we've been designing. We've been, yeah, we've been looking at new mirror options, and we were talking about these mirror pads as well. Just saying how crazy these were, and these are very useful in a positive way. Yeah, yeah. And just yeah, but crazy. I mean, crazy um, how in fast how sold. fast they sold. Um, the first one that we did was plain, and I remember doing that show shortly after I joined, and it was I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god it was selling so fast and then we did the patterned ones and again they went crazy but this i love the striped ones because with stripes and spots you know that's one of the main things that you have in your collection as a crafter if you've got spots and stripes you can always do something and you can always rig something up um but these are just amazing i never had, had seen patterned mirror like this before it's brilliant um, it's so hard to show on camera yes um but you will if, if we get it right you'll get the stripes there are stripes in here um it's really hard to show on some of them but you you can see all the different color combinations you've got there and obviously you can see um you can see reflections in the background yeah, on the screens and everything in the cameras um that's brilliant nine pa 11 pound 99 normally 24 sheets in here yeah uh, 220 gsm four pounds 99 that's Again, crazy. while stocks last, um, whatever's left goes back up to £11.99 on the, in the early hours of Monday morning. Um, yeah. Okay. You know what that's great for, great for as well, um, Dan, is uh, if you don't make cards, I think, but if you make jewellery and you sell jewellery, that is perfect for making the boxes. Oh, isn't it? Um, so you might be a person who just makes packaging for things that you make, whether it's scarves, whether it's crafted with fabric or whether you make pin cushions things like that everything sells better if it's packaged nicely and that is perfect because it's eight by eight you can make some really nice boxes out of that with lids um and for 4.99 i mean that's a, a steal so just bear that in mind sheila this is what you do to all of us you make our hearts all of a flutter <laughs> yes you do sheila <laughs> she does that's yeah. right guys the cheese is flowing it We're certainly out. We, is. Are, we are grating parmigiani in here um, <laughs> It's very true. Okay, so all of the flutter. Now, okay, I don't even know if I should show this because I don't think we should be we should be selling this at this price. Oh, I, I've, on, have you seen it? Oh yeah. my goodness! This this is Emily. Okay, when when but we couldn't change it because I we came in and I said, "Em, what's going on there?" And and she said, "Oh, well, it's a good price." And so I, said, I know it's a good, <laughs> it's a very good price. But are you sure we should oh. be doing? You know, I don't really want to sell that at that price. But Emily, she, it's already gone out the email, so we're sticking with it. Yeah. <laughs> Never word with the letter. I think there might be a one missing in front of it. That's all ah. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Are uh, all of a flutter aperture stamp and die bundle? Okay. This is an A4 stamp set, right? 14, 15 quid, yeah? yeah. This is an, a, a larger die set, 1999, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a 20 quid die set. I know. Yeah? yeah? And it's like a 15 quid stamp set. Okay. Yeah. £6.99. I, I don't, do we need to demo do it? We need I mean, to do, say, we, do we need to say anything sh more? Shall I, shall, I just, shall, I just, shall I just put it... Shall I just package it up and send it to someone? Because it's probably sold already. I don't know. I mean, that's amazing. Let's have a very quick look at the back of here. Okay, so you can see um, the, the gorgeous st uh, stamps. I mean, you can see the stamps themselves. They're all on the front, but it's always nice to see uh, some coloured versions. Uh, the, the lovely apertures that you can create with this. So there's some beautiful backgrounds, but there's also um, so there's a background here that you can see. There's also some lovely sentiments and so on in there. Beautiful at the bottom um, border as well, butterfly border. But it's really, really pretty. Uh, it's apertures. You, you can stamp them and then use the dies to to uh, to cut out a perfect uh, aperture and go around it now yeah. Sheila are you because you look like you might be you've got a white piece of card there. yes I'm gonna I was gonna demo this are you gonna demo this yes Wowzers. okay yeah. six pound 99 should we go over to Sheila or should we should we yeah let's go over okay. to Sheila let's go let's go and have a look okay let's do it then so um again because it's this is a massive stamp set and it's oh which one do I use and I remember when we first launched these and I used them I'm not sure if I didn't even I can't remember if I did these on 
on Create and Craft or I cannot remember. I have a feeling that I did do it on Create and Craft, but I could be wrong. Um, you will probably know more. Um, so again, it's been a while since I've actually used these. So I just said to Emily, right, I'm going to get these out and have a look at what we can do with them. You can do so much with this. So I'm going to do something quite basic, but I've taken a six by six um, card blank. What I'm going to do is use some of our prism inks just to kind of blend a background because then when we stamp the butterfly and cut the aperture panels out from behind it, that other colour will show through. So I'm going to just grab um, the ink box from down here and because I couldn't have it up here on the desk because I already have the desk filled to capacity. So I think what we'll do, let's use, um, let's actually, let's go with some of a nice red colour. Let's do our red chilli. So we're going to do red background. I think one of those inks might have just leaked out there onto that um, ink pad lid. So I'm going to use one of our fabulous uh, blending tools. They're super, aren't they? Yeah, they're amazing. And then we're just going to go all over with um, the red. So, and, and this will just create a, a nice background. Now, don't worry about doing it all over because I'm going to put a panel on top of this but I want the red to just be around the edge so and if you let your ink pad or the blender should I say go off the edge of the card you will find that it gives you this nice red um, framed edge as well rather than going around it with the ink pad afterwards yeah it's, it's it like a little bit stronger because it it grabs the ink. It's, um, it does, yes, it it's does. It's greedy. You have greedy edges to your cards. We here. have greedy, yes, yes. They, they love the ink. They love it. They're just grabbing it with all their might. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any greedy animals on your farm yard, Sheila? Or? Uh, chickens are always greedy. Chickens, greedy chickens. Greedy chickens. Very. Obviously, cows, horses, and sheep, they just graze all day. They but do. they're yes. easy. Low maintenance. Yes, that's just let them empty the field and then whack them into another one. True. Why that previous one grows? Yeah, so it's all perfect. you know. It's like a circle of yeah. life out there. They're basically <laughs> hoovering the carpet, aren't they? Yes, that's what they're doing. Just yes. Listen, I do. I, I used to have chickens in my garden, and um, Did you? oh, I loved my oh, I loved my chickens. I miss them so much. But I tell you what, if you've got chickens and you've got an overgrown part of your garden and you want that. You know, you've got a bed that needs weeding. Get them chickens in there. They'll have it weeded by lunchtime. Honestly, they Will just... They really? Oh, yeah. They They'll just, have it weeded by lunchtime. Yeah, they scratch it all out. And then, you, you know, but make sure it's the bit that you want them to do and not like your best, you know, where your best, <laughs> your, your petunias, best petunias and things are. Because <laughs> they will rake it all out, honestly. Um, right, so what we're going to do now, one of the beautiful um, background stamps in here, it's like a dotty effect. So what we're going to do is just put um, some black versafine on here and I've put this onto a big block out of the craft room rather than doing it with my stamp press because I've got that ready to use the butterflies. So what I'm going to do is just press this down onto the edge there and then because I've only used that bit I can actually bring this down here and place it on there. Mm, it's lovely. Like that and it just gives it something, um, it's a little bit subtle but it just stops it being just plain boring red. Guys, those blending tools are available on our website, um, as are the uh, the extra sponges, because people tend to like to get a sponge for each colour of ink pad that they use. Yes. Uh, pop it on the bottom with a little bit of Velcro. You can pop it on the bottom of that ink pad. I know that's what Sheila does with yours. Aren't you? Yes, we do that with all our ink pads in here. We've got little Velcro dots, or if you've got sticky Velcro on a, on a, a roll or on a, you know, on a strip, you can use that as well. Um, but you can see how easy it is to add colour to, to that ink me card and how well that ink me card takes colour. Definitely. Um, ju just with those blending tools. They're lovely, aren't Absolutely, they? Absolutely, yeah. So we've got our little background there. We don't need to do anything else with that. I'm not bothering about the middle because we're going to put a panel on here. So we we'll pop that to one side. So now I've got my stamp press. And what I'm going to do here is I've got my butterfly. I've chosen the butterfly that's within this aperture here and it's actually got the squirrels on so I'm going to use that one. So if we stamp um, this onto some more Ink Me cardstock and I'm using, I think my panel here is five inches because my base card is six by six. So what we'll do now is we will take the stamp press and we will just push, pop that down on there. If you've not got a stamp press, we have got them back in stock, haven't we, Dan? Yes, the stamp presses um, are in we were stock waiting for and them. staying in stock. Yes, yeah. they're good. They are really, really good. Um, and the thing is for me, though, I am so short, and normally when I'm... See, I've done it again. I'm going to have to take a chance with this. 
I will take a chance. Have you moved it? Yeah, because my I'd got it down with my tape rather than my magnet. But I'm going to try it again. If it doesn't if it doesn't line up, I'll flip it over and do it on the other side. It's not, okay. it's not the end oh, of the that's world. Because you'll be hiding that side anyway, wouldn't you? So. Yeah, yeah. So you can always flip it over and use the other side. And I'm very short, so I like to stand up normally when I stamp, and I, I like to do it at my desk. I do think this has moved, so I do think we're going to get like a double um, image here, but we'll see when we lift it up. Okay, and the reason there was because you didn't use the magnets that hold yes. the place, yeah? Yes, and I, normally I put, if you've got a, yeah, it's moved ever so slightly. Look, it's only a tiny bit. But let's flip it over and do the, do it on the other side, it's fine. And, and remember we'll, guys, there's no wastage with this sort of thing because you can just flip it, it over and use the other side, you know? Yes, absolutely, yeah, because we're going to stick that down anyway. So, you know what so I will do? you need do? another magnet on then, do you? Yeah, I'm going to put my other magnet at the bottom, which I just had. You, the thing is, you have to watch that um, the magnet doesn't interfere with your stamp, depending on the size of your stamp. It's got to be in the right place. Uh, it's got to be in the right place. But if you use some tape as well, a low tap tape, and this low tap tape I've got on my mat here has been on there forever. So that's probably not, not helped either. So you, I'm lining it up with the edge and also right up to the top line there. So we'll... The thing is, with because we're using matte cardstock as well, and this is what I find, we're using matte cardstock and we're using an ink that's quite sticky. So very often it'll um, it'll kind of grab the cardstock and that's why you need to secure it down. I mean, I remember um, Anne-Marie, when she was doing something, I remember taping it all the way around for something she was doing. Um, so again, it's, that's entirely up to you. Okay, so let me just check my magnet is not in the way there. No, it isn't. So we'll press it down and hopefully this time. Um, another little tip as well, what you can do is when you are lifting it up now, when we lift it up in a minute, is to, before you lift it too far, try and get your finger underneath just to rest it on there. Uh, so this is because the size of the stamp is is counteracting the um the, the power of the magnets because yes. it's such a big stamp because it's a big stamp so Absolutely. yeah it makes sense so that's a much better stamp but i just want to add a tiny bit more on there and then we'll cut it out we've got some naughty people who are working from home but can't stop watching oh. don't tell my boss um we won't say who it was it's okay if you work for honky dory you're allowed to watch I it right you yeah, because you know which but is otherwise. fun because everyone stops in the office and watches um, watches uh, Hunky Dory TV, don't they? Which they is do, fun. yeah. It is funny. It is funny. There we go. So now what we're going to do? Now we get the die. So we're going to grab. I'll just pop that over there. So I'm going to now grab the die that goes with it. Now we've got lots of different dies on here. Okay, and you will see the which one goes with which um, stamp. So if I show you, just so that you've got an idea, we've got the round, we've got two round ones. So we've got this one here. I'm just going to pull this off the um, sheet. So we've got the round one here that will fit in with that one. Okay, and then we've got this one, which will go with this butterfly that we've just stamped. And it tells you on there, they're all labelled so you know which one goes with which. It'll well, say design good. one, design two, right edge, etc, etc, etc. So this one will go on here. Now I know you're thinking, oh my goodness, this is going to cut everything out. It isn't. If I flip the die over, you will see there are flat edges here. Where there's a flat edge, this does not cut. Where there's a raised edge, that is what cuts. So you can see when you put it down that which bit is going to cut out and which bit isn't. So take a minute just to pop it on and line it up um onto the aperture like that and then we're just going to pop a little bit of tape on there and i'm going to grab a bit more tape as well and then we will um cut that out so we pass that through the machine and then we'll add a bit of color tap butterfly with our pens so we've got people watching on Facebook and on YouTube and we've just been told that YouTube is slightly ahead of Facebook this is really, really tricky for us because obviously we have to say things twice really, really fast. Once for YouTube and then once for Facebook like this. As fast <laughs> as we can, you see. But we do it so fast you can't see. <laughs> that is not how it works. It's I just not. thought I'd make sure you know it's not how it works. That, you um, had me thinking then. And, and, I, and I've given myself a slight headache from jiggling about. So, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Guys, fur babies. Lots of people mentioning their fur babies. Oh. Um, are we talking uh, woof fur babies or purr fur babies? Which are we talking? 
and people's fur babies are getting in the way, Sheila, and making it difficult to watch. Are they really? Yeah. Um, do you have cats or dogs, people? Let us know. Um, I have a cat and a dog. You have both, don't you? Yeah, very, very lucky um, to have both. Uh, Emily? Cat. Cat? Cat. And Sheila, you're a cat person, aren't I you? I am. Well? I, my cat, my, my, you know, last cat passed away just over a year ago. So, um, and I'm in a rented house at the moment, so we can't really have pets, um, you know, so um, much as I would love another cat. I, I find it difficult to survive without a cat. I just love cats. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just love them. I don't know. I just, I just love cats. Okay, so we're going to slowly peel our tape off here, just so that we don't take the top surface off. Because remember, I'm on Ink Me cardstock here. So if you did this on um, Mattastic as well, again, I would just suggest, you know, um, take care as you're peeling it off. But you know what I particularly love about this? And I'm not sure if this would work. I might try it on the other side, actually. You can see that the print of the stamp, because it's been through the machine now, is actually on the masking tape there. Now, I'm just wondering, and I'm going to just try a little experiment right this minute. Are you I've, up to no good, Sheila? Yeah, I'm just going to see if I flip that over, because I don't need this side. If we press that down on there, is that going to give us an imprint? No, it isn't. But it was worth a try. Yeah, yeah. Just to let you know that the you can't, you know, some of you are probably thinking, oh! I know what I could do with that. So, you know, do bear that in mind when you're taking it off. So now you can see how amazing Isn't this that is. brilliant? Isn't it beautiful? So it's cut, it's turned so it's into apertures, so it's cut out around yes, it. Yes, it So has. it's as if that butterfly is on top. It's really clever. And what you can do now, of course, what I'm going to do, and I, didn't I say before that I needed to use that, put red all over it anyway, because, because, that's what I said, because it shows through, that's what I'm I said at the beginning. You. What am I thinking? But that's the joy of ink pads, that's the joy of Ink Me cardstock. Exactly. Um, you want to add, to go back in, you can do no problem, but you want to add any kind of colour to your cards, you can, and then you can layer. So of you course can add more colour on top. Of course you can. You can blend, so you can get those gorgeous ombre effects as well. You can sponge it on, you can do all sorts of things. You can do great stuff with plastic bags. There's um, oh my goodness, absolutely, some crazy yeah. techniques, aren't there? There's, really, really fun. Yeah, and I think most of them are in our, our handbooks, actually. So, so now you see, once I've added a bit of colour to this, you'll be able to see how this takes shape. So I'm going to get my uh, water brush and I am going to get a couple of colours. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow here, I think. Jackie Deschamps said she's got a fairy grandson. He is lovely. Oh, a fairy and grandson. Yeah, and at first I thought about like a, a little child with like lots of hair, yeah? And I thought, well, that's cute. And then I thought, grandson. Now, I don't know how old Jackie is. When she's saying she's got a fairy grandson, does she mean she's, her grandson is a man with a beard? I don't know. What is it, you know? So how old is your grandson? Let us know. Yeah, is it a person? Is, is, it, it, a per yeah. is it an animal? Uh, what is um, it? No, the grandson, I'm sure, is a, is a, is a human. She, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. A fairy grandson would be a... Would be a dog or something, wouldn't it? Oh, a fairy grandson. Yeah, I suppose Surely. so. Um, we've got, everyone's got pets, you know. Kirsty's got a dog and a parrot. A parrot? That's cool, isn't it? Hey, did you see that thing um, the other day on the news about the parrots? Apparently, they'd I don't know if they'd had to separate them or oh, close the zoo. place down. Yeah, um, because they were actually swearing at each other. They were. They were. They were. Can they, you believe that? So they've had to, like, separate them, I think. And, and they have to be saying uh, each other off. Yeah? Because they say each other off. Yeah. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that hilarious? That's like that's like you and Natalie, that Emily, isn't it? We have to separate you two sometimes because of your potty mouths. It's terrible, people, honestly. Um, Carol's got two dogs, 12-year-old Guinness and one called Bailey's. Well, we know what oh, you like to do in your spare yeah, time, time, Carol. Um, Denise Fraser, casting aspersions on your character. I do apologise. Um, Denise Fraser's <laughs> cat was called Kit Kat, which was lovely. Oh, Kit Kat. Um, Jenny Shaw says that, Jennifer Shaw, sorry, it just says that no pets now, but always had cats here. Um, yeah. I always had always cats here. I wonder if, if that's cats just turning up. Oh do, yes, because they, they do. They're very they're proper cheeky, aren't they? They they supposed they have like two homes, don't they? So they have yes. your home, and you think you own this cat, but it turns out the woman down the, the road. They also live at number well. six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and they like it more at her house. I mean, they really are. They're quite dogs have masters, cats have staff. This that's day, right. That's right. That's well, you know, we used to um, at my other house uh, when we had cats. My cat used to be terrified. My cat was called Lester. I had Lester and Sadie. And Lester um, was scared of his own shadow. He was always scared of everything. But across the street at number two, we had the, like, you know, the tomcat of the street who 
you know, he'd lived there for a long time. He, he was in charge of the street. As soon as Lester came out of the house, in came Virgil and Virgil. went, yeah, Virgil, and went straight to the food, ate all um, Lester's food, and then went out all contented. Um, but there was a couple of times when um, we were out at work and get home and Virgil would have crept in as as we were like loading the car up with stuff and not seen him. He'd have eaten the food and then gone upstairs. So there was a time we came home and Virgil was actually on the bed. Um, he'd been in the bed all day and Lester was downstairs asleep like in his bed. Virgil does sound like he ruled Virgil the roost. Virgil was a, a naughty boy, very but very yeah. lovable. But ve oh, lovable. Very lovable. Okay, guys, yeah. this is this is my most fun animals of the day, I think. Um, Sue York has a Chinese fire belly newt. <gasps> a Chinese fire belly newt. That Ooh, sounds ace. Nice. An elderly rat, which is not a nice thing to call your husband. Um, <laughs> an, an elderly rat and a... And, and, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't. I shouldn't, Sue. Sorry. If she turns it off now, it's your sorry, fault. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't because he's the newt, you see. So, uh, <laughs> no, uh, a Chinese fire belly newt, an elderly rat, and a polecat slash ferret cross. Really? Wow, I didn't hey. know that that, you, that could even happen. Gosh, you don't That's see amazing. polecats very often, aren't they? Very rare, aren't they? <laughs> oh, my goodness me. That's amazing. Wow. It's Friday behaviour again it in here, is isn't it? It is indeed, it is indeed. It is indeed. So we've done um, kind of a multicoloured butterfly there and I'm just going to go around the edge here with the blending sponge just to give us a little bit of um, red to tone in with the base. And then we can put this onto the card with some of our foam pads so that it raises it up like this. What I am going to do is take my black um, brush marker fine liner tip and I'm just going to go around the edge with some black stitching. Um, and this doesn't have to be even. You can just do it freehand like this. And it kind of ties in with the black ink that we've got going um, on in the card. So can, I, can I just say everyone that I do hope this is still available to buy um, and that we've not just, you know, because we, we haven't checked the stocks here actually and it's not easy to do right now. No, it's not, is it? Because I haven't set it up before we well, started. Let's hope we're but, not bankrupt when yeah, we go out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those where, where we're sat there demoing something that actually sold out 20 minutes ago. Everyone yeah. else knows, but we don't. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? So um, yeah. what, a, what a price though. £6.99 for that instead of £34.98. Sure, it's looking lovely. That's, um, that's a definite bargain. An absolute, that's the, the bargain of the month, I think. It is. Um... Okay, so now another little thing you can do if you want to, you can actually um, stamp this butterfly again, you can cut it out and then what you can do as well is you can um, cut a second butterfly and put it on top, colour it in exactly the same and then sit it so its wings are up so you've actually got a double aperture there, uh, a double butterfly should I say, not a double aperture, but you've actually got a three dimensional butterfly. Um, now we're going to pop one on there. Now another little tip for you here, because we've used um, prism inks which are water based, very often a foam pad doesn't always grab, um, particularly if your ink is not totally dry. So you can add a little bit of uh, glue to each of the pads just so that it will grab. Okay. Is it out of stock? Is it out oh, of stock? Oh no! Has it gone? Okay, Sheila. I'm not surprised. You, well, anyway, you're, you're, if you yeah, these things happen. Yeah, if you've actually got that, then you can. A massive congratulations. Give you an idea of how to um, use it as well. But if you've got any problems or you're not sure, then let us know and we will help you out. I'm just going to put four red pearls in the corners here, and then we we finish our demos oh, anyway. We're John. not we're not leaving a demo halfway through. Well, no, and everybody's got these now. So if you if you've not used this, this style of um, stamp and uh, you know die set before, then that's how you do it. I mean, that's done pretty quickly, but you can take Isn't a little bit more time. But again, it just gives you um, an idea of what you can do with that. And there are loads of other options using those dies and stamps. Sheila, absolutely love it. Six pound ninety nine, guys. Um, yes, there was meant to be a number one in front of it. Uh, well done, Emily. But it's all gone. Uh, it's all gone. You can't complain. 
Um, Sheila, you might have to put all those back together because someone probably wants to buy it. It's um, these things. Are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, guys, I'm giving you your two minute warning. Okay, so um, can we just chuck the uh, Win It Weekly back up on screen for a second? Is that okay? Yeah. Two minute warning, everybody. Um, what we want to know if you want to win or to be in with a chance of winning our uh, 80 pounds uh, offer, 80 pound bundle. Um, there are eight of them up for grabs. Uh, we are giving away eight. We're going to give them away in about 10 minutes or so. Um, this is your two minute warning. If you have not put your answer in, uh, by the next few minutes, that's it. We're going to close it off. Okay. Uh, we hit the amazing milestone of 80,000 Facebook likes, but what milestone did the Facebook page hit in 2018? Was it A, 20,000? B, 40,000 or C, 60,000 Facebook likes. We've still got four products to show you, but we've only got one more demo left, so we're gonna yes. fly through these, okay. Um, we are slightly running behind and it's my fault for too much waffle, I think. Okay, <laughs> Adorable Scorable Twilight Edition includes 24 sheets of eight, of, um, of eight. 24 sheets of eight A4 Adorable Scorable. That doesn't make sense. It's three each of eight uh, designs. There are 24 sheets in here. Um, was nine ninety nine three pound ninety nine guys three ninety nine. I'm going to fly through it. Yum 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 yum. It's all yum. It's not going to be there for long. Um, and we're probably back into repeats now. But isn't that absolutely lovely? Okay, do we love it? I certainly love it. Twenty four sheets, three hundred and fifty GSM, three ninety nine while stocks last. I don't know which of these are still in stock and which of these have gone. I do know that this is a crazy price. £1.99, Spring Days and Country Life, inserts and papers. Um, here we go. Sheila? Yes. You find these on your farmyard? Were uh, these yes. from your farmyard? Um, yes, I took that picture this morning actually, <laughs> nipped in and printed it out. So okay. <laughs> and I the, didn't uh, really, please don't be asking me, I don't have a farm. And the rabbits, <laughs> she, she does, she's, she's moved. I've she's, always wanted one. She sold her house, moved into a farmyard so that she can craft until the cows come home. <laughs> it's true, I know, because I made it up myself. That's true. <laughs> Look at this, that's lovely. So there's some beautiful inserts in here that um, that we'll also use as uh, be perfect for um, for using as cards. Some of these, they're lovely. Uh, on the other side as well. Uh, I know we're in a rush, so I'm just going to fly through this. Look at this. It's really pretty. This one. It's really, really pretty. pretty. And these are double sided, guys. One pound ninety nine, and that one's got a tracker on it. Look, look at that tracker there. That's lovely. Um, <laughs> that's, that is the voice that tractors have. It's not, it's not a regional thing. All tractors have that voice. Um, look at these. Aren't they absolutely lovely? Okay, and you've got multiples in here as well of them and inserts that coordinate. Very pretty. Hey, it's not a tractor. Quad bike. Quad bike. And your car in the background, my quad bike. Yeah, very nice. Okay, <laughs> so guys, all of this, 24 sheets in here, £1.99. Brilliant. Um, okay, second to last. Second to last. Um, I'm only going to show you this number of sheets, but there are 24 sheets in here. So there are six different designs. You're going to get four of each. 249 Musical Delights Designer Papers. Absolutely lovely. You've got the gorgeous musical script. What's the word? Sheila will know. Um, yeah, it is. Score. It's, it's, score. Uh, um, it's yes, it's score. like, um, yeah, musical score. But you've got it, and you've got it in the traditional sort of colour that you'd expect, but you've also got it in colours that can coordinate with your car making, whatever car making you you are doing, you've got the white there, you've got the green, you've got the, the, the pink, the purple, and um, uh, it's absolutely lovely. 24 sheets, guys. It's That's beautiful. uncoated as well. Can be distressed, can be rolled, can be ripped, can be torn. Do you know what? It's really nice as well if you get that like manuscript paper and you, and you do tear it and you put it onto like a little table or something old, you know, or a box, just cover it, tear it, and put it on like you would with... Um, traditional decoupage, which is layering that comes from France, obviously that's where it comes from, but you can put like a, a, a glue over the top of it after so it goes shining, it seals it, but it looks lovely on boxes and things. Last but not least, tis our plain sailing collection. Um, $9.99 down to $2.99, so this at one point was a members free gift. Um, we have a small number remaining that, are, that we are letting you have at £2.99. I've got some cards here, and Sheila, you're going to demo this, aren't you? I am indeed. So uh, this is a deluxe card collection, which means that you get four topper sets in it. So you get, um, as you can see, I'm showing you coordinating here as well. Um, you get the topper sheet, 
and then a coordinating piece of foil cardstock and a coordinating piece of printed cardstock. Or are they just all printed these? No, they're foiled as well. Are they? Yes. Oh, yes, they are. Um, but absolutely beautiful. Uh, you, you'd say that these are more for men's cards. Um, they tend to be, but but let's not be sexist here. Ladies like boats too. Absolutely, yeah? I've told you, I'm, my sister has a boat, so well, they you know they go sailing down the canal on the narrow boat. And again, um, people go on holiday, don't they? And very often go down to the harbour, take pictures. Um, so it's a beautiful collection for those people as well. It's very pretty. And here's some cards that have been made with that. Um, lovely little acetate there. Very nice. So that's that can stand up on its own. As you'd expect of a card, actually. Yes. It's not a big thing, Dan. A, you know, a card standing up on its own. <laughs> you know, you don't have to stand there and hold your card no, all you day don't. like they this. No, you don't. They do work. <laughs> what are you doing today? Just holding a card, yeah. <laughs> don't want it to fall over. Um, no, this is adorable, scorable. 350 GSM, guys, as you know and love, it's going to stand up um, beautifully. Uh, there we go. And that's proof that our cards do stand up and they don't do fall indeed. over. They do indeed. See? <laughs> Even in a hurricane, this Tough. boat survives. Uh, let's tough. go to Sheila and see what she's going to make. Okay, so we're going to do um, a little easel card with this. It's always nice to have um, an easel card every, every so often. So I've taken a six by six card, scored the front at three inches, which is halfway up, folded that. So no, there's no rule here when you're doing an easel card. You can do it that way or you can fold it back that way. It still sits the right way um, so it's entailed to you but the majority of people do it that way so we've got six by six uh, gold mirror mats so one is going to go on the bottom and obviously with the um, kit being foiled in gold that is why we have gone for gold here as well um, right so I'm going to chop up some of this beautiful cardstock so I want this to be on the base section so what I'm going to do is cut it slightly less than six inches so I'm probably going to go to um, six and uh, let's see mm. guys Sheila we have to say no more no more no more uh, can you enter for our win it weekly competition ah. this week um, so uh, if you have entered you are in it to win it <gasps> oh how exciting so we've cut that to five and seven eighths and that just gives us a tiny little edge of gold around the bottom and I wanted this to be at the front edge here because I think that is beautiful. Um, so we'll stick this on and then we will do the top section. So now with the top section obviously we have got um, just half a panel here. So don't do what I used to do, which was to get, it's just a habit with me to get a piece of card, glue all around, stick it on. The only way I can tell you to do this is to actually not glue what's going on there, but glue that, that piece. So we're going to pop that onto there. So we know that we're not going to have glue on the back of here now. And you can put it flat while you glue it down. So that will stick on there nicely. And then we're going to build up onto our base there. So we're going to choose some of the um, other cardstock here. So just looking through these, these are absolutely beautiful. And I'd seen one, I think, that had, and it was the one, or it was, had stripes on it. Oh, it had stripes at the bottom there. Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do, because I want this to resemble sky here. So I'm going to chop this down as well, again, to five and seven eighths, or as Natalie would say, Six inches minus two notches. Is that what it is? That's Six what she minus says. Two notches. Yeah, she's that's it. Uh, she's just texted me, Natalie. Has Natalie she? is happy, yes. Good. She's that's had a good, good morning. She's uh, in a good mood at Creating Craft. Good. Natalie will be back on later today on Creating Craft with that Stitch It collection. Oh, wow. uh, if there's any me, left. And then you will be able, if there's any left, yeah, and then you'll be able to uh, get that from us as well and other good craft stores. Um, yes. From, is, it, is it Monday? It's probably it's Monday, won't it? Wednesday. Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday, is it? Wednesday, right, okay. Right, so now we've got our um, top section here, and look how glamorous this is going to be. Even though, you know, fancy sending this to one of the lovely uh, sailors in your life. Um, so let's have a look what we're going to put on here. So I think we're going to go for. Oh, Sheila. One of those, one of the lovely, one of the lovely sailors. One in of you, well, you know, I mean. How many, how many ladies <laughs> are lucky enough to have more than one of the uh, sailors lovely in their sailor life. in your life? Well, what was it they used to say in the war? He's got a girl in every port. Well, he's <laughs> <laughs> that was what my mum said they used to say in she the war. She didn't say it about me. 
get me in trouble, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> oh my goodness me. She's a girl in every port. He's a girl in every port. Oh, everyone's got a girl in every port. Every port, yeah. There's nothing Brilliant. wrong with that. <laughs> Lots of people doing the uh, the fingers crossed for for winning. So um, they cool. will be our design team will be working up the graphics. Uh, so the people have been chosen, which is exciting. Oh my goodness, it's very exciting, isn't it? It could be anybody, anybody that's watching today. It could be any of you. It could be it you. Could be you. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to pop this. I've got the um, the shorter one there, but that's okay. We'll trim that. So we're going to put the frame on the pad. Um, and we're going to glue the topper flat. So let's get the topper onto here, like this. I've got a quick question for you from Dawn, if that's okay, Sheila. Yes. Uh, she says, what is the best way of sticking background paper to card? She usually uses a tape runner, but it's difficult to adjust if you get it wrong. And if she uses glue, the paper wrinkles. Well, what we sometimes say is, I like sticking paper with double-sided tape, as, um, mm. as she's saying there. But what you can do, why don't you um, get one of our glue sticks, rub the glue stick on the back of the tape. So what it actually does is it allows you a little bit of movement. And then what you can do is you can press it down. Once the glue has dried, you've almost got like double adhesion then. That's very, very clever. So you can do that. Or, you know, I've been using our construction glue with papers as well, and it's worked fine. Just don't put too much on, um, you know, just kind of, Right, we need a bit more on here. Just just put it on quite evenly. Mm. Um, Always take your time as well, I think, with, uh, with that sort of stuff. And definitely. It, the, it, the old adage of um, measure twice, cut once yes, uh, that's is, it. is always important as that well, isn't it? It is, but definitely. Luckily, um, paper is one of the lowest cost uh, items that, that, that we do, um, yes. which is great news. But it is always very sad when you when you lose anything in a crafting um, environment because we love our craft stuff so much, don't we? Oh gosh, yeah. Um, you know, we don't, we don't want to waste anything. We don't want to waste it. No. So I mean, try you could try that with, um, you know, try it with just a piece of copier paper or something just to get you used to actually um, actually doing that. Okay, so we've got our, what we've done, we've put a tag on here, we've put the little sail away with me on top, we've got our little, you always have to put a stopper on here, like that, and what we need to do now, we're going to add some gems to this, so let me grab some gold gems here, so we want some gold gems, I'm going to put three of the medium sized gems at the bottom of the tag here, and then what I want to do is just finally add a little bit of red and blue twine because we've got red and blue going on so if you take some red twine i think i've done this before and i always do this on on sailing boat cards i don't know why is if you take a, a length and it's probably about about 12 inches in length just wrap it around your fingers two or three times like that and then bring that through there and just knot it it almost gives the effect of like rope tied up by the Ooh. side of the the harbour so we're going to do that. I do like a nice harbour. I do actually. It's lovely, isn't it? I do. I like a nice harbour. Of course, harbor. in beautiful weather. Harbour harbours when it's um, harbour in the wet and in the cold. It's not great, it's, is it? it? It's nowhere it's, near as it's nice. It's not a pleasant, a pleasant thing and not a pleasant place. But saying that, it's still it's still nice. It's kind of more um atmospheric, isn't it then? Um you almost get the feel of how difficult it is for, for, the for the fishermen when they're going out there and that's they're setting true. sail and going out they think oh my goodness that's that's a job and a half isn't it it's great when like uh, more convey tides high when it comes over the wall isn't it? oh when it comes over the wall yeah. i bet it is yeah yeah we we, we grew up in torquay um and as you would go down the uh, the front in torquay you could drive down when the when the sea was in and when it was really windy it would come up and over and it would go over the car and splash on the other side. Oh it my was goodness. Quite amazing. Oh yeah. my goodness. My Scary, worst nightmare. But, uh, <laughs> but quite incredible. Yeah, yeah, my worst nightmare that. Um, okay, so we've done the same with red and we're going to put the red in the bottom corner here. So we've got that kind of sailing um, theme going on. So we just, And again, construction glue is perfect for this. It just grabs that twine. And um, we've just put a little blob there so it holds the ends. And then we'll put a blob here so it just grabs that end. And it could be something as simple as that. And then you could personalise this, put somebody's name on it, 
or you could put the age on it, whatever you want to do. But again, bring some of your textures in. You can even make it into a shaker card and put some sand in your shaker window. But again, it's just another way, quick way of using um, that beautiful kit. And at that price, it's daft to let it go. I think that's fantastic. Beautiful. £2.99, guys, our plain sailing collection. And that is the eighth of eight new products that we have shown you today that we have added to our 80,000 Facebook likes a promotion. Uh, it will end the promotion and everything that is remaining will go back up in price. One of the products that we've shown you during the show at least has already sold out. Um, I saw quite a lot of people saying, oh, I've missed it, missed it. I'm really sorry that you missed it, guys. When we do this sort of thing, um, and obviously there'll be more because we've got Black Friday that will come up at some point oh, soon. Oh, yes. Um, uh, it, it's one of those... Get it when get it when it's there because um, when they're gone they are gone. Uh, we don't restock them if that makes sense because uh, no. we're always moving on to the next thing. That's how of course how craft seems to work, isn't it? Yes. Um, okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Uh, let's take a look at who is going to win uh, in our Win It Weekly. Let's grab this box. Here we go. There are eight of these that we're giving away, and we're giving them away right now. Right now. We asked you the question. We hit the amazing milestone of 80,000 Facebook likes, but what milestone did the Facebook page hit in 2018? So that's two years ago. Mm. Some people were very, very clever. Resourceful, I'd like to call them. Um, and not cheating. I like resourcefulness. I think it's good. They went back in their emails and they found the email from 2018. I believe, was it September? I, I believe, mm. was it? Someone said it was August. Or so. Oh, you're doing the cow thing again, Sheila. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm moving away here, mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> mm. yes. Oh no, mm. stop it. Um, <laughs> you're a naughty cow. Mm. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about sorry about this everyone um i don't know what we've been on today but um we should we should give us more we should bottle it and sell it we really should that's what you've had for breakfast is it what we've had for breakfast um, so, yeah okay. so what was it emily do you have the answer because i would like to give people the answer the answer is i don't know oh! <laughs> <laughs> please tell me we know the answer i don't we somebody knows the answer I can't please believe we I do know the answer. I believe it's 60,000. 60,000. 60,000. I, I would think that, yeah. <laughs> I it, hope is, it is. It is. It I is. think it is, Dan, because when I first started here in 2017, shortly after, we got about 40,000 likes. So that would make sense for it to be 60,000. 60,000 mm. Facebook likes. Okay, um, guys, if you put the correct answer... And congratulations, number one, if you put the correct answer, because there were three to choose from, and it was tricky, then you were in with a chance of winning this. There are going to be eight winners. If you do not win this, uh, please there will, do not worry. There will be another Win It Weekly that we, um, we do a Win It Weekly every Monday, uh, Monday morning, 10 o'clock, on, um, on our The Craft Show. Uh, please join us every Monday for that, um, and you've got a chance of winning a new Win It Weekly every week. Um, we give away at least 100 quid's worth of goodies every week, mm. which is brilliant. Uh, also, don't worry if you don't win because we're going to spin the wheel in a minute as well. Okay. <gasps> oh, we just get Emily, can you reveal the winners of our wonderful £80 worth of goodies? There are eight of them. Let's go. Congratulations. So if your name is on this list, you have been chosen uh, and you are a winner. Heather Macklin, congratulations. Georgina Pitts, congratulations. Julie Fisher, congratulations. Adriana Murphy, Adriana, what a lovely name. Nice. Congratulations, every name on here is, is lovely, by the way. Uh, congratulations, Teresa Rogers, congratulations. Gemma Bowdry, congratulations. Carol Matthews, congratulations. And June Davies, congratulations. As you can see, you've won everything in this box. There are eight of these going out today, uh, and they are going out by courier. They will be with you, I should imagine, Monday and no later. Isn't that brilliant? Love giving stuff away. I think it's fantastic. Definitely. Okay. Uh, are we ready? Shall we spin that wheel? As if by magic, the wheel has descended from above. <laughs> or been picked up from down here. One or the other, it has appeared. Um, let me move this out of the way. Uh, as usual, major professionalism uh, on Hunky Dory TV. 
Here we go. We're going to spin the wheel, guys. Uh, and when we spin the wheel, we'll just tell you about what's going on in the next few days. Um, we've got loads of awesome goodies here that you can be in with a chance of winning. I'm going to spin the wheel. Whatever it lands on, we're going to give you a minute to comment. You comment on anything you want. Have you enjoyed the show? Uh, what are you doing this weekend? What are you having for your tea? What are you wearing? May keep it clean as much as you can. <laughs> Uh, colour of undies, what, we, don't, we don't mind, we'll, you know, whatever, we'll take it all, whatever, whatever you say. Um, and whatever it is, Emily will do her magical spinny finger of, of happiness, I don't know what it's called. Um, she, will, she will spin the mouse and um, somebody is going to win the prize that's on in. They're going to win it right now. Okay, shall we spin, Sheila? Spin! What would you like it to be, Sheila? I would like it to be a £50 voucher. Oh, wouldn't everyone? Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's not a bad spin. It is Prism Ink Pads. Hey. Guys, shall I tell you what Prism Ink Pads we're going to give you? I'm going to give you the whole selection of our Shimmer Ink Pads. That's 36 of them. Um, it's the £90 if you buy them singularly. Uh, I can't remember. We, we've just been doing a deal on them, but it's over yeah, 30 quid. 36 is, yeah. or, or something yeah. like that. Somebody is going to win this. They're going to win a full set of 36 Shimmer Prism Ink Pads, and they're going to win it right now. Okay. Comment, 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 whatever you'd like to say. Um, Sheila. Yes. Uh, TV schedule, Create and Craft. Uh, today with Natalie uh -huh. at 3.45 with Stitch It. Will you be watching? I will be watching, yeah. I, I will, will put it, it on too. my phone while I'm at my desk working. It's um, very yes, exciting. Yes, yes, I will. That is if Natalie has Don't any stock left. Any it's gone very well. They've asked us for more stock. Um, we will obviously see what we can do. Uh, next Facebook Live show will be a craft along. That's really mm, exciting. It is, yes. Um, Sheila, would you believe it's the and it me? It looks like it's me and you, it's yeah. And me, I will find it out a couple of days so, before. It's amazing. So if you've, um, <laughs> if you've not had enough of us today, I know we've been supercharged and I do apologise. <laughs> Um, uh, you can join us at 10 a.m. on Monday morning for the craft show, and we're going to do a craft along with that wonderful miracle of Christmas kit, which was our club gift. And as I said just earlier on, there are under a hundred of those left. It'll Ooh. go in the next day or two. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be demoing with that wonderful miracle of Christmas club gift. Yes. I know there are some of the bundle left as well. It's the only way that you can get hold of the bite-sized book um, of Miracle of Christmas. Right. Um, I think the inserts now as well. I think yep. the normal I think the only two things that are available are now are the bundle, because we set it aside and, and it's a collection, and there's not many of those left. No, no. Um, and the gift on its own. Yeah. And like I said, there's not many of those left. So, um, guys, if you want that. And I think that if it hasn't gone by Monday, it will go during the during yes, our show during on Monday. Yes, during the show. Yeah. Um, but craft alongs are so much fun. They're absolutely lovely. And um, we'll be really busy on Monday uh, as well. Okay, guys, um, we've had lots and lots and lots of comments. And thank you so much. Uh, people saying they'd love to win. They've not won. Liz Moore hasn't won anything since she was seven years old. Aww. Winning the com competition in the Blue Peter Annual. Well, that's a good one. Oh, work. my goodness. That's well, worth that's, winning. That's definitely worth winning, yeah. Uh, okay, um, here we go. So to win 36 ink pads, shimmer ink pads, prism ink pads, the highest quality, as you would expect, from Hunky Dory. Emily, do you have a winner? You already said the name. Did I? Really? Yeah. Is it? Is it honestly? Yeah. Have you chosen her? Yeah. Oh, let me go back. I've missed. Uh, where is it? Liz Moore. Liz. Liz Moore. You have. You have just won. Congratulations. You. She's not won anything since she was seven. She just has. Yay! Isn't that lovely? Fabulous. Um, Liz, you have won this. Please will you either uh, email studio at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk and if you do that, you go straight through to Emily, which is lovely, uh, who chose you. Um, or you can uh, message us on um, Facebook with your name and address. Please don't put your name and address here in the comments. Uh, and we're going to send you out those 36 ink pads. Um, what a great choice of winner. That's lovely, Perfect. isn't it? Perfect, yes. Okay, guys, um, next Facebook show, Monday, 10 a.m. Um, Sheila, I, I am off for a lie down. Uh, Sheila is <laughs> Sheila is probably off to muck out the cows. Um, yeah. <laughs> is, uh, Emily, I don't know what Emily's doing. What are you off to do, Emily? Off to the pub. Pub, probably. <laughs> pub, while they're still while open. While they're still open, yeah. Uh, guys, thank okay. you so much for spending time with us. Um, it's been our pleasure, absolutely. We've had a lot of fun um, and some good demos today. Uh, we've run over a little bit and we do apologise for that, but um, really enjoy your weekend. Uh, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Sheila. Bye-bye.